So the next comic coming to the stage, a very funny guy, please give it up for John Gorman! <laughs> Thank you very much for coming out tonight. Uh, you know, there's something I don't understand. Why is it that we require children in elementary school to pledge their allegiance every single day? Like, what are they going home and switching their loyalty overnight? <laughs> are they home? Are they going to, hey, mom, when I finish my addition homework, can we read that Kim Jong Un book again? <laughs> so, in New York, they're considering a bill that will require sex education starting in kindergarten. All right, you just think, how's that going to work? Oh, what'd you learn in school today? Uh, let's see, my ABCs, <laughs> two plus two equals four, and you can still get pregnant even if you pull out. <laughs> so, sorry, that's not me. So, you know, one thing about, sorry about that, you know, uh, What's up with this country never adopted a metric system? Was it really that hard? There are literally three countries that haven't adopted the metric system. The U.S., Myanmar, and Liberia. So, but I guess we, we, the good thing is we kept it, I guess, for the things that are really important. Cocaine and hard alcohol. <laughs> so, some of my friends like to say that 60 is the new 40. No, it isn't. When I was 40, I made dinner reservations for after 7 p.m., and I didn't spend the whole night going, wait, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> and when I was 40, if I wanted to lose a little weight, I'd cut back to two, three slices of pizza. Now I cut back to half an avocado in my arugula salad. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to, uh, I don't want to get set in my ways, I'm trying to be more spontaneous. And uh, so if I see an ad, something I like, I just go for it, buy it. Which explains why I have a vacation in Angola next month. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a very, very lucky man. I've been married for 35 years. And uh, you know, my, and my wife, who is not here, uh, is... Uh, is <laughs> Uh, but uh, she said, is a tr truly my uh, best friend. So we're, you know, it's really, it's friends with benefits. <laughs> and, I, and I mean benefits, right? She's got health insurance, life insurance. <laughs> so, um, oh, I skipped, that's what, I, I uh, uh, sorry, I, I, throw, so I skipped the joke. Uh, that's right. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about the, uh, uh, it wasn't that good. The, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, the thing about the, uh, the Ten Commandments, and you know, you think about it, those of you who are familiar, hopefully many of you are, uh, although you don't know who Mickey Rourke is, you might not know these. So the Ten Commandments, the, the, the Ten Commandments is not the movie. And, uh, the, but it's really, three of them are really solid, right? Don't steal, don't kill, don't commit adultery. It's pretty easy. But I think the others really need some tweaks if they're going to be relevant, and things that people can actually put into practice. For example, a good, a good one is, Honor thy mother and thy father. I think that's not realistic. Honor thy mother and thy father unless they're acting like idiots. <laughs> Another tweet, uh, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, blatantly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry. The, uh, uh, and the, the other is, uh, do not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Well. How about, do not bear false witness against thy neighbor, get a lawyer, have him do it. <laughs> so I recently got a, uh, a dog from a breeder, and the breeder assured me he was fully trained. Fully trained? No, no. And this dog is just not woke. He's just, there's just so much inappropriate, the sniffing and the licking and the mounting. And you know, what I'm afraid of, and you know, it's, he's a little fluffy little guy, a little Pomeranian. Yes, what I'm really afraid of is one of these days he's going to hump the wrong German Shepherd and get cancelled entirely. <laughs> so, please enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. For John Gorman, get up for John Gorman.